Welcome to Independent Solutions POS Printer Troubleshooting Guide. Today we'll be going through the steps to take should your POS printer stop working with the point of sale. You will notice that PTR and DRW on the point of sale go red. This is to indicate that the point of sale can no longer see those devices. DRW will go red when the PTR does, as the DRW is connected to the PTR. PTR stands for POS printer, DRW stands for cash draw. When this happens, the first thing you want to do is a self-test. To do a self-test, you hold the feed button, and while holding that button, turn the printer off and on. This will generate a receipt, as you can see on screen now. After each step we believe we have fixed the issue, we need to restart the point of sale. To do this, we need to click on the Restart Pause option on the left of the lock screen, or on the red close symbol in the top right. We do this so that the point of sale can try and re-communicate with the POS printer and see if it's now working. The next step is to unplug the two cables you can see on screen from the back of the printer and plug them back in. This last thin one is for the cash draw and won't stop the POS printer from functioning. At this point, restart the POS software again to see if the point of sale is now able to see the receipt printer. The next step is to find this cable, which is a 24 volt retail USB. Unplug it and replug it from the point of sale. Once the 24 volt retail USB is unplugged and replugged, restart the point of sale software again to see if it is now communicating with the receipt printer. At this point, check the model of the printer as seen on screen. If this is the same model as a printer on another point of sale system, swap it to that system. If it starts to work, it's the cable or the point of sale port with an issue. If it doesn't, the receipt printer itself will need repair and or replacement. To expedite this process, please get this serial number prior to calling Independent Solutions. If it started to work indicating it to be the cable or the point of sale port, do one of the following. Getting a standard printer USB cable and swapping it out on the printer, then restart the point of sale. That cable looks like what you can currently see on screen and may look familiar from one of the earlier parts of this video. If it works with that replacement cable, you can either leave it as is, or get a retail cable from Independent Solutions. If it doesn't work, it's likely to be the port on the point of sale PC. Talk to Independent Solutions about point of sale warranty for your unit. Thank you for watching. If you need further assistance, please email us at support at independentsolutions.com.au or call us on 1800 020 946. Did you hear Independent Solutions now does live webinars covering various topics? Click the link on screen to see the playlist now.